Hi crafty friends, it's Sylvia. How's everyone doing today? It is so hot here in Texas guys. It's and I believe it's hot everywhere actually all over the United States. So try to keep cool guys. Okay, so today we're going to do an unboxing from a beautiful, beautiful, I love this painting. Uh, it's called The Librarian by Cheryl Baker. Uh, I was, there is actually an event, so I wrote it down. It's uh, the Cheryl Baker Diamond Painting event hosted by Cindy Schwind. Uh, and you can find her on Instagram and Facebook. And it's hashtag Cheryl Baker 2023. Uh, I was going to join, but I let her know that I'm not going to be able to because I have just too much going on and I want to continue with what I'm doing, which is blast from the past, just continuing to work with my stash. All right, but let me show you how beautiful this painting is. Um, yeah, it is a square, so it comes in a very pretty box. All the squares come with a blue square. So that's a, and it also says square diamonds. Uh, it says scan me to unlock for 10% off. And then in the back, it tells you how it works step by step, what's in the kit, and it comes in three languages. You have it in English, French, and Spanish. Uh, okay, so let's open this baby up. So what do we know about Cheryl Baker? Cheryl Baker is a digital illustrator, and she enjoys blending elements of fantasy and realism. She invites you, and this is a big one, she invites you to step into a world of magic and enchantment. Okay, and she has, I believe, 11 paintings from Diamond Art Club. Uh, one would be Welcome Home, Midnight Magic, uh, and so on. Okay, so it comes with two stickers. A small sticker, which you could put this in your logbook, or you could put it on your box. So when you're organizing your box, you'll know that in that box, it's the librarian. See, you just peel it. Okay, and this is the toolkit. And the toolkit, guys, is always like magic. We don't know uh, what we're gonna get. Let's see. Ooh, love the washi tape. Okay, let's put that aside. So it comes with resealable bags just in case you're traveling and you don't have any containers, you could put the drills in here. It comes with tweezers because all the square uh, paintings come with tweezers. Okay, and it comes with a diamond pen. This is a single placer, which means you could only pick up one drill at a time. This is a comfort grip. This is supposed to slide. All right, I did it, and it's pretty color pink. And it's supposed to help uh, comfort, give your, uh, give your, um, make it comfortable for your hands. Couldn't think of the word, huh? Okay, and then of course, a heart-shaped container, and this is where the wax is. And of course, it comes with a plastic covering, so make sure you peel it back to get the uh, wax. And I actually like this wax. All right, and then the washi tape, look how pretty it is. It's very pretty spring. Let me move this a little closer right here. Flowers, or summer flowers. And then this is the uh, cover minder. The cover minder is basically a magnet because all the paintings come with a plastic covering. So you peel the plastic covering back, you take this cover minder, you put it on the plastic, and then you take the magnet and you put it underneath the canvas. It snaps and it holds the plastic back so you can diamond paint. Okay, and also comes with multi-placers. This is for the pen. This one is a four, which means you could pick up four drills at a time. And this was a seven, so you could pick up seven at a time. And of course, this is the tray, and this is, I, I don't know, I think this is a stopper. I think it's called a stopper. And it's basically to stop or prevent the drills from spilling out. I hardly ever use this, to tell you the truth, guys. Okay, so I use the tray, but I don't use the stopper. A lot of people do, I'm sure. Okay, so let's put all this aside. And now, and of course, all the canvases come in a plastic covering. This one's pretty big. Um, and it says Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle, but I always say do what makes you happy. All right. Let's get the baby out. Wow, it's heavy. It must be the drills. Let's put the plastic there. Let me move it this way. So did we get the, yeah. Put that over there. 
Okay, it comes with uh, thank you for your purchase, what's included in the kit, tips and tricks, and a VIP Facebook group, and step-by-step -step instructions, which is very nice. Okay, we don't need this for now. Let's put that over there. And here's the big sticker, which I usually put this in my, in my logbook. Okay, so it's called The Librarian by Cheryl Baker. You put the start date and the end date when you finish the painting. And here it comes with pre-cut stickers. And these pre-cut stickers, you could actually put them on the container. And it looks like it has 61 colors and three ABs. And ABs means Aurora Borealis, which just means it's just a drill with an extra shine. And here are the drills, guys. Wow. Okay, so it tells you, it has a sticker, it tells you it's called the Librarian. Just in case you separate the drills from the painting, you'll know that these drills go with that painting, okay? And by the way, the drills are 100% resin for exceptional care. I mean, exceptional care. Yeah, that too, exceptional color. Okay, let's put that over there. Well, actually, let's put it over here for now. And the canvas, all the Diamond Art Club canvases are super soft, guys, which feel, they feel really nice. Okay, they have scallop edges to prevent fraying. All right, so I'm gonna unroll it. And then I'm gonna roll it the other way. And we can do this because of the, the way it's designed. It's uh, designed to prevent wrinkling and fraying. I believe it's a tarpaulin uh, fabric. Okay, and if you leave it out for a little bit, it'll flatten out by itself. But we need a little help right now so I can show you the painting. All right, so at the top of the painting, let me move these things out of the way. On the top of the painting, it tells you, do what makes you sparkle by Diamond Art Club. And it has like a little diamond, okay? So let's unroll it. Oh my, it's gorgeous, guys, I love it. All right, let's put this back because we don't need the glare. All right, can we see too much glare there? Let's move this over here. This like that, I think that's better. All right, so let's unroll it all the way. Move this, all these things out of the way. I have a lot of stuff on the table, guys. All right, so all the Diamond or Club paintings come with two legends. Okay, one legend on the left-hand upper side and then it has another legend on the lower right hand side, okay? And then on the bottom, it basically t has a picture of the painting, oops. And then it tells you it's DAC, it's called The Librarian, it is 25.6 inches by 32.7 inches, which is 65 centimeters by 83 centimeters. Cheryl Baker, Diamond Art Club. Okay, and then in the middle, it basically tells you take 10 for 10% off your next order. You can find them on Facebook and Instagram. And then over here, you have the lifetime warranty, which is a 30 day money back guarantee, free diamond spill insurance, and a 10% cashback rewards with every order, which is pretty cool. Now, let's look very quickly at the legend, so let me tell you a little bit about the legend. Uh, I love the legend, and it really does come in handy. It basically tells you how many colors, so it has 61 colors. In the middle, these are the symbols, and the symbols is what you find in the painting, and that's where you're gonna place the drills. And then this is called the color code, which is basically the DMC code, okay? So uh, now let's look at this beautiful painting. Now the reason, I bought, I actually bought this painting for two reasons. One, because I was gonna do the Cheryl Baker uh, DP event, but I, I, I won't be able to. I'm hoping that I can join next year. Uh, and the second reason is because, uh, well, actually three reasons, because it's gorgeous and it's beautiful. And the third reason is because it sort of reminds me of when I used to teach in New York. I used to teach first grade and I used to take the kids to the library and also uh, my daughter, I used to take her to the library all the time and she was in, in different events going on in the library during the summer, which I think they have like book clubs and she loved, she was an avid reader. So that's why. 
All right, so let's look at this beautiful painting. Oh my gosh. I think this will help me too, to see it better. All right, so here we have the librarian and the librarian is basically a fox and she's wearing these <laughs> spectacles or glasses. She's wearing, it looks like a head scarf around her head and around her neck. She's wearing this really cool hat. Love her hat. And you have her pointy ears. Okay. And then in the background, there's a beautiful window. It's a round, a circle window. And then in the background back here, uh, you have like, you can see the sky. It's like blue. And then you have some clouds back here. And then you also have like some vines hanging so pretty and actually you know what i just realized this is a tree it's a tree and then of course there's a bookcase um then you have a uh what do you call this it's like a lamp i guess it is a lamp there's a, another name for this and there's a little candle in there and then it looks like you've got some uh, pictures here and of course, let's not forget the typewriter, the old fashioned typewriter that we all used when we were in college. Um, and then there's an owl. <laughs> oh my God, I love the owl. And of course there's a bookcase. Well, let me move it over here so you can see it. There's, I'll, I'll bring it up. Um, there's, it's a glare. There you go. There's a bookcase here with lots of books. Let's see what else, let's see what is this. Oh, this looks like a little lamp here. And there's a bell. Um, and of course, let's see. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Let me move this up over here. And then we'll go back to her outfit. So these here are all books. They actually holding up the little table where the typewriter is. Okay. Oh my God, this is, this painting has so much detail. I love it. And then there's a tail here. You can see the fox's tail. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous, guys. And look at the floor. The floor are like st uh, stones, I think so, or rocks. No, they're stones, I have no idea. I don't know what they call that, but it's beautiful. And then, yeah, so this is just part of the bookcase. And then you have like more flowers here, like vines and flowers. But look at her, the librarian's outfit, guys. She's wearing this really cool little vest and she's got a little button here and these are her the the sleeves let's see what else and then she's carrying a bag i guess like a satchel bag and let's see oh there's a cup and this is a watch and then she she's also holding and carrying books so these are books here and not to mention, look at this skirt, guys. It's those old fashioned skirts that the women used to wear in the old times. I love the, the skirt. And of course you can see her little footsies down here. Oh my gosh, it is, it is so well rendered and so much detail and very, very clear. Uh, it has muted colors, definitely, but I love muted colors. And, and the other thing I just noticed, it's the sunlight, the sunlight that's coming in through the window. Oh, wow. I think the, the ABs, because this, this painting is muted and it has a lot of browns, but it still has a lot of blues. Um, it's definitely the ABs will definitely make this painting uh, come to life and also make it pop out. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, I'm excited. Okay, it is a square and you guys don't know that I do not uh, prefer squares, but Hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? All right, so let me bring it up so you can see it very quickly. Um, I'm gonna have to bring this light over here closer. Okay. And this beautiful face, the fox's face of the librarian. Wow. Love her little uh, scarf. It's got, it looks like it has pink around it and her gold button. Part two because it's big there goes the owl so you can see the typewriter can you see the typewriter not really her little bag and of course let's see 
the beautiful skirt. And let me see if I can show you the floor here. See that? Isn't that gorgeous? And look at her, her feet. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so let's uh, look at the colors, okay? I'll be back. All right, let's begin. 150 is Dusty Rose Ultra Very Dark. Can you see it there? Put it right there. 155 is Blue Violet Medium Dark. 310 is basically black and there's three bags. Okay. Uh, 316 is Antique Moth Medium. 317 is pewter gray. Oh, there's two of those. And then we have also two bags of 318, which is steel gray light. And 341 is blue violet light. I think we can move this a little bit over there. Slide all of these so we can have more room. Okay. 413, we have Pewter Gray Dark. 414, two bags of 414 is Steel Gray Dark. 433 is Brown Medium. 434 is Brown Light. 435 is Brown Very Light. And 436, tan. 502 is blue green. Love this one. 561 is Celadon green. Very dark. Very pretty. 580 is moss green. Dark. And 581 is moss green. Just moss green. Okay. 632 is Desert Sand Ultra Very Dark. 640 is Beige Gray Very Dark. I should have brought the light a little closer. 642 is Beige Gray Dark. And 644 is Beige Gray Medium. 738 is tan, very light. 739 is tan, ultra, very light. 743 is yellow, medium. 754 is peach light. 762 is pearl gray, very light. And 70, 775 is baby blue, uh, very light. Okay, now we're doing the 800s. 834, Golden Olive, very light. 839 is Beige Brown, dark. Two bags. And 840, also two bags. Beige Brown, medium. And 841, there's three bags. And 841 is Beige Brown, light. And 898 is coffee brown, very dark. 926 is gray green, medium. Love this gray green. 934 is avocado green, black. 935 is avocado green, dark. 938 is coffee brown, ultra dark. And 948 is peach, very light. Okay, so we're gonna move these out of the way so we can bring the, the rest of the colors. So, so far we have lots of browns, lots of greens, yep, and grays. Okay, so let's move all of these over there because I need the space. Back there you go. Okay, now we're gonna do 3021 is brown, gray, very dark. 3033, there's two bags, is mocha, brown, very light. 
And 3064 is Desert Sand. Can you see that? 3328 is Salmon Dark. 3348 is Yellow Green Light. 3371, there's two bags and that's Black Brown. And 3685 is Moth Very Dark. It's very pretty, actually. Uh, let's see. Let's do the 37s. Almost finished, guys. 3726 is Antique Moth Dark. 3727 is Antique Moth Light. 3746 is Blue Violet Dark. 3756 is just a very, very light blue. 3768 is Gray Green Dark. Very pretty color. 3772 Desert Sand Very Dark. And there's two bags of 3782, which is Mocha Brown Light. 3787 is Brown Gray Dark. Can you see that there? Yeah. And there's two bags of 3799, which is Peter Gray Very Dark. All right, so let's get the rest of them almost finished. 3853 is Autumn Gold Dark. 38.54 is Autumn Gold Medium. And 38.57 is Rosewood Dark. And this is the last one, 38.66 Mocha Brown, very ultra, very light. Okay, and then let's bring the ABs, all right? So just like before, browns, with yellows, in the fa you know, family of yellows, salmon, light blues. So very pretty colors, guys. Okay, we're gonna have to move all these out of the way because we need the room. You all go over there for now. Okay, so we have, let's see, we said we have uh, three ABs plus one Electro Diamonds. So 108 AB, it's a very pretty green and uh, AB just means Aurora Borealis, so it has an extra shine to it to make it shiny. 139, look at this, guys. AB has two bags. It's like a gray. And then 141, it's white. These are all ABs. And this is the Electro Diamonds. It's like a yellow. It's like a gold. All right. So let's bring back the painting to see where these beautiful diamonds belong. Okay, we'll move out of, all this out of the way. All right. And of course, this is when the legend comes in handy. So we need the glare back there because we don't need that glare to bother us. All right, so let's start with 108. Okay, and 108, when you look at the legend, is number one, which is symbol one. So wherever you see number one in the painting, that is where this AB is gonna go. Okay, so let's see, it's not up here in the leaves. It's a green color. Uh, let's see, any over there? Oh, okay, I see some over here, wait. Actually, you know what, it, there is some here. It looks like they're around the leaves. So I see it there, I see some over here. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be around the leaves because it's not down here. Let's see. Uh, nope, let's see any down here. Actually, there is some down here because remember we do have some, uh, some plant life here. I don't know if they're vines, but there's some ones here. So that's gonna look really, really pretty because it's gonna pop out the plants, the greenery on the leaves. Wow. Okay, so that's gonna be beautiful. All right, this is gonna be symbol two. So wherever we see symbol two, let's see. Okay, ah, ooh, wow. That is gonna be on the wallpaper. See, twos, twos, twos. So it's gonna be on the wallpaper. Yep, all back here, there's lots of twos, twos, twos. Any down here? None of her beautiful skirt. 
Oh, there's twos down here on the stones. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine how that's going to look? The stones are going to be sparkly. Oh my gosh. That's gorgeous. I love that. All right. Let's move that one aside. And then uh, by looking at the legend, 141 is going to be the dot. So right here. There's dots here. So it's that, that's the light. And then, of course, around the, uh, the window, some over here on the window pane, some here on the wallpaper, around her sleeve, uh, around the on top of the owl, around here, around the uh, owl's wing. All I can say, this is going to look spectacular. Wow. There's more over here. More, it looks like the ledge on the ledge and around her skirt. Okay. Oh my. Okay, and then this one is the Electro Diamonds and this, that's actually down here. That's gonna be letter T, uppercase letter T. Let's see, any on her face? Mm. Nope, it's, ah, I see it. It's right here on the bookshelf. So it's like around here, that's gonna be shiny. Or out here, oh, it's on the bell. What was this again? Where's the paint, the, the picture? Oh, that looks like a magnifying lens, but I could be wrong. And then it's gonna be on the bell, the T. It's gonna be on the owl's wings. Wow. And it's gonna be around her clock. So let's see, anybody, any, anything down, let's see down here on her skirt. Nope, that's it. I think it's perfect. I think this painting is absolutely gorgeous and perfect. Let's move the glare back there. Oh, mamma mia. Oh, mamma mia, okay. It is big painting. And I believe the event, I'm not sure if it's going to be for two months. I'm not sure. But you can find more information on, on her Facebook and uh, Instagram page. All right. So I hope you love it as much as I do. This is just absolutely stunning, guys. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week. Thank you and bye-bye.